everyone, my name is Lily. I studied, is currently working, and is a small business owner here in the city of Adelaide. Today, I'm excited to talk about the issues surrounding economy to the Lord Mayor. So, um, supporting existing local businesses is um, to adapt to change is important for economic resilience. So can you provide insights into what strategies are in place to help local businesses to adapt to change? Well, the biggest change that's likely to happen, I think, is climate change. Okay. And I'm actually quite concerned about the viability of all of our businesses if yep. we have temperatures in the 50s. Okay. And so we have to find ways of making sure that it's not just we avoid climate change, uh -huh. uh, which is almost impossible at this stage, but uh -huh. we plant trees and we make sure there are verandas and we map the temperature at night and during the day to see yep. which streets are becoming less viable. That's yep. one thing. Okay. Um, we also need to find ways of making businesses viable when there's been such massive demographic change because we know that 20% of people aren't returning to their offices, yeah, less true. people working in the city and so a lot of cafes and restaurants and businesses have gone under mm -hmm. and that's a tragedy for the owners but the reality is that we're not going to get people back to work. They don't yeah. want to go back to work okay. and they've um, also much of the retail is, has been altered by the fact that people are buying shopping online. I'm yes. sure you shop online. Yes, I do. Um, yes. And that is damaging for bricks and mortar shops. Um, so we have to find a way of making them more viable. One of the issues that we've addressed is looking at um, turning above shop floors into accommodation. The more people who live in the city, because most of Southeast Asia and Europe have people living above the shops. And I don't mind if people work from home, provided their homes in the city and that would actually help all of the businesses. So that's one of the things we're doing. We have had a range of um, business grants, so we put money into sponsoring um, vacant shops to be occupied, an organisation called Renew Adelaide, and they actually find vacant premises and they put start-up businesses in, and that's a really good way of giving people a start but it can't affect all the empty shops because there are so many and we have to concentrate in various sites. I think doing street upgrades helps a business. When the street looks as it's getting better, it's good people prefer to be there. So planting more trees, better footpaths, money on streets is good. Um, Weymouth Street actually isn't too bad. It's been done up reasonably okay. recently. Yes. Um, the trees are quite small. There's not a lot of shade there. Um, but it's still pretty risky along there. Yes. Uh, a lot of businesses have gone under, That's and true. it's to do with the fact that all of the offices have downsized, so it's a real challenge to make sure yeah. there's viability. Uh, so apart from upgrading the streets, the other things we do are try to find programs for Main Street business entities. Mm -hmm. So we put money into Hutt Street, Guja Street, um, Melbourne Street, yeah. O'Connell Street. We don't have a a precinct group for Weymouth Street, to yeah. be honest. We have a West End traders group, and they've been focusing on, actually really focusing on Light Square and Hindley Street, but they haven't really looked at Weymouth Street, but you know, it's probably yeah. another street that needs work. Mm. And um, one of the other issues that we find um, having a restaurant in Weymouth Street as well is the accessibility of parking down there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's one of the issues that we have um, as a business owner down in Weymouth Street. So, so I think that it's true to say you'll never be able to survive on the people who can park outside your shop. Correct, yeah. Because if there are two or three parking spaces, it's not going to keep your mm -hmm. restaurant going. That's true. But um, people have to understand that we do actually have quite a lot of street parking mm -hmm. and quite a lot of free parking, mm -hmm. but people tend to be a bit lazy yes. about walking. Um, one of the things we can do is there's a, where there's a, um, a council car park, you can actually do a deal and say you get an hour free if you go to this restaurant and there are ways you can f form collaborative marketing mm -hmm. and maybe that's something that would help your restaurant. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Another question is that um, so small businesses and local businesses often um, face challenges in expanding their operation. So you did mention the business grants. Um, is there any other incentives or resources that the um, city of Adelaide is planning to help in assisting um, local businesses and small businesses? I think it's quite difficult um, when we're having so many businesses struggling to exist mm -hmm. to talk about expanding. 
and we ha don't honestly have any more grants going out at the moment yep. but we've we're trying hard to actually yep. get our finances right ourselves uh, one of the challenges for local government is that just as your costs have gone up, mm -hmm. our costs have gone up by 30% in the yep. last year. So we're struggling to keep the streets clean and the parklands in order. Um, mm -hmm. And actually we're trying to avoid spending some money in some areas, okay. which I'm sure people won't like, but we, you know, otherwise the rates will have to go up and we don't want to put mm -hmm. the rates up more than we have to. So it is quite difficult. What do you think we should do? I think... Um during COVID, one of the um, things that would actually help us a lot was the business grants, actually. Um, and then post-pandemic, we find that because our customers are mostly um, people that are working around the city, especially around Weymouth and Perry Streets, um, we do find it difficult now that people are working remotely from home and there's a decrease in mm. people working in the office. So we're just trying to stay afloat and um, it helps us if there are more people coming in the city and also the um, availability of well, I said, when I said um, the parking spaces in the city that would help us and also the attraction about um, if there's more events going up in the city then that would actually bring more crowd in. So. Yes, well we um, fund an organisation called AIDA which is the Adelaide Economic Development mm -hmm. Authority and we charge them with increasing business activity mm -hmm. and they give away um, significant sums of money um, to events and in all fairness the state government have invested massively in events huge amounts in yeah. sport live golf and um, making events bigger and better and having the gather round um, and that has been really important I think that the budget for AIDA's more than 10 million a year mm -hmm. is spent on business support and investment and growth and we also um, have to say we put $20 million out in grants during COVID. And when you think that our income from rates was $130 million, um, to give away 20 was quite a big ask. Mm -hmm. And it, it's actually made it quite difficult to get our finances right. So I don't think we can give away $20 million again. Mm -hmm. Uh, because it was one thing in COVID, but yep. now we've got to kind of rebuild our finances. And one of the challenges has been that the council had um, slowed its investment in street upgrades. I mean, Weymouth Street's pretty good, yeah. um, but Guja Street's in a terrible state, King William's in a terrible state, and we're trying to firm up our finances and invest mm -hmm. because probably the most sensible thing we can do for businesses is to make the environment good. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we will keep giving money to yep. business events and if AIDA can see a project, they will give money to it. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that one of the probably the most difficult things for your business location is the fact that you don't have a specific business group or mm -hmm. lobby group. You mm -hmm. don't have a Main Street campaign mm -hmm. group. Um, but I know that we did put money in last Christmas to for the New Year's Eve party yep. and there was a New Year's Eve party in Weymouth Street. We didn't mm. do that this year. Was that good for you? Um, Weymouth Street parties and street parties in general actually brings um, in people actually. Yes. And we do um, on those days that we know have um, that Weymouth Street party is happening, we do put in more stuff. So yes. Actually it brings people in the business yes. which has not been there before yes. and um, does not walk that usual yes. route normally so yeah street so parties. I think one of the other challenges is your staffing mm -hmm. do you have trouble with staff finding staff um, not exactly we do have um, enough staffs and everything it's just basically the matter of bringing people in the business and promoting our customers business. customers yes. yes so that's it. so I think that it's a real challenge and mm -hmm. again you're right we do need to get more people in the city mm -hmm. and so what we um, have done Aida has done is to do we do lots of surveys in yep. sentiment so we know how many people don't want to come back to the office mm -hmm. uh, we know that that trend is not really going back to what it was Correct. before so that we have to find special events and activities yep. um, so that's, that's the challenge and i think for weymouth street it's quite a diverse uh, business environment mm. it's not really just food it's not really just bars, it's mm -hmm. quite an interesting Correct. environment. Yeah. So.
Um, the council also owns quite a bit of property mm -hmm. um, in terms of at the back where the car park is. Yep. And Topham Mall car park's pretty close. So I'm, s I'm sorry that you're, that's no use to you. Do people mm -hmm. use that? Um, no, we do find it difficult because, um, as you said, um, more people are coming, for example, into Randall Mall and yes. the closest street to Randall Mall is probably Randall Street and also yes. Curry Street. Yes. So we're a bit quite far away from that and we're like in the middle of um, Randall yeah. and yeah. Chinatown where a lot of people don't actually um, go around that area. Are you open on Saturday and Sunday nights? We're not, we used to be open on Saturdays. Oh, I wasn't it, sure. Yeah, um, and it didn't bring us that much income at all, so it wasn't viable no. opening on Saturdays and Sundays. Because no, I thought street, it wouldn't be, because yeah. it's very quiet. That's correct, the street is very yes. quiet, um, especially on Wayward Street on Saturday and Sundays. Yes. So we decided we'll just focus on Monday to Friday. Yeah, which is when the shops uh, um, the use business. and people in their offices. Yeah. Right, yes. I mean, what what have you noticed really works? Okay. Is it the live golf or the gather round yep. or? Okay. Have you any idea which of them works? Um, I would say for me, for my business personally, the gather rounds has been um, really popular, bringing in more customers to my business. That's fabulous. Um, yes. But events like Adelaide Fringe, where um, there's a lot of food stalls there as well, mm -hmm. makes the business pretty quiet normally. Yes. yes. So how about you? Um, what um, statistics or data have you um, have in trying to see which events has been most successful in bringing people in? Well, I think um, all of them are really successful for hotels. Yes. The hotels always win mm -hmm. and the short term accommodation always win. The challenge is spreading the hospitality dollar around mm -hmm. um, because the hospitality dollar for nighttime entertainment was very strong in Hindley Street during Gather Round. Mm -hmm. um, I think WOMAD is interesting because WOMAD doesn't do so much for the hospitality sector because yep. people are there all night at, at the function where there is there are stalls selling food. So that doesn't help hospitality either. But I think that the gather round is probably quite good for hospitality generally because most people come for four days and they only go for, you know, six hours of mm -hmm. football so yeah. that they're actually out doing things and being a tourist. Mm -hmm. So I think marketing Adelaide as a tourist destination is mm -hmm. really important. But the challenge, I think, for some parts of the city is that it's not on the pedestrian route. Mm -hmm. And one of the challenges for some streets is that you need to have office occupancy. Yeah. You need those offices to be functioning and until there are more people in the office, um, it's very challenging. And that's the worry about how we can increase. And so if I looked at Weymouth Street, there are a few residential blocks. There are, yeah. Um, and that is really good for business because where I live, I live the other I live the other side of Guja Street. I'm really lazy. Um, I hardly ever walk anywhere but Guja Street. Um, when I'm near the town hall, I go in Weymouth Street or um, up, you know, to Grenfell Street. But when I'm at home, I tend to go close to home. So I think the more people we have living near you, the better it is. That's so, true. Yeah. And where do you park then? Um, I do have a car park in the office oh, where I, I utilize when um, when I come in in the office. Yeah. yeah. Well, that means you're a good walker. If you're walking from the other end of King William, Correct, that yes. means you're walking through the city and looking mm -hmm. at things. Yes, I do. Um, and I think making lighting, security, safety for people walking at night is really important. Correct. So when we upgrade streets, I think it's really important that we think of those things um, because we. It's, we have an obligation not just to the customers but also the staff yep. and when you have young women working in restaurants you need it to be safe otherwise they're not going to want to work there. That is so. great. Thank you so much Thank for you. the conversation Thank you. today. Thank you. Thank you. I did so enjoy speaking to you. Thank you so much. I'll come to your restaurant again. Thank you. <laughs>